Now we move to the Commonwealth, Tazewell County in particular. People deal with grief in a variety of ways, but one man there in Tazewell has found what he calls a healthy way to deal with the loss of a parent through the traditional native art of dream catchers. This is James Shuey. He first learned how to make dream catchers from a neighbor a number of years ago and discovered it was a great way to pass the time. He's made more than a dozen in the process. But when his mother passed away earlier this year, he got back into this art form. He says his mom loved his dream catcher. So by working with the string and the beads, he found a way to work through his own grief as well. Shuey says he would recommend others experiencing a similar situation to turn to this traditional craft as a form of therapy. It helped me, and I'm 100% confident it could help anybody else. I mean, it, you know, it's, it's all in what you like to do. Uh, but for me, this really helped me with losing my mom because, you know, I was just grief stricken and didn't know really how to cope with it. And I mean, I sat down, like I say, you know, every day, two weeks, and uh, I got it done. Well, God bless you, Mr. Shuey. He adds that his newest dream catcher is dedicated to the country music artist Jelly Roll. You see a picture of it right there. He said Jelly Roll's music also helped him deal with the loss of his mother, and he's hoping to send that dream catcher to the singer as a way to say thank you. We'll keep you posted to see if he's successful in contacting Jelly Roll's people.